Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be diving in to an updated guide on getting Big Bear Cost OS installed, set up, and showing you what's new. And um, also, uh, Big Bear Cost OS is an awesome third-party app store that uh, I make in my free time. Uh, so it helps the Big Cost OS community get things installed faster. So subscribe, comment, like, and enjoy the video. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS, and there will be a link on YouTube description to get to this. Um, so that there's been a lot of apps added since I last made a video on getting it installed. Um, I also made a logo, and I also uh, have the App Store URL down here. You can copy this, but... Since in the new Cost OS, uh, Big Bear Cost OS has been added to all of the Zima OS plus the Cost OS installations by default. So that's awesome. Um, so now there's a ton of apps that you can choose from. Um, if these apps do not work, uh, you can go on to up here. And you can go to Big Bear Community. You can sign up. And then you can let me know about something that doesn't work. You can also go into the subcategories right here. And to the suggestions. And you can suggest new apps to be added to, to Big Bear Cost OS. I can't guarantee that, that I'll be able to get to it. But I'm trying to get to as much as possible. Um, if you want to contribute to Big Bear Cost OS, you can make a pull request, and I'll be glad to look it over and get it into Big Bear Cost OS. Um, so, if you go down here and you copy the URL, you can install it manually. I'm going to head over to my Cost OS and show you more. So, used to when you uh, updated your Cost OS, you I had to actually go back in and add the uh, Big Bear Cost OS back. But by default, if you go into the App Store on a new installation of Cost OS, you can go over to the apps right here and you'll have more apps. You can see the default store, plus you can see Big Bear Tech World right here, which is Big Bear Cost OS. Um, this is added by default now, so you don't need to go into here and then m more apps and then add the dot zip right here so it's by default um you can go over here and you can see all the big bear cost os apps and there's a lot so that's the new changes so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club uh, uh, uh you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and i very much appreciate it so, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to show you how to add Big Bear Cost OS if you don't already have it for some reason or if you removed it. Um, so, you can go to the App Store right here. You can go over here to the Apps and then you can click it and then you can go to More Apps right here. You can also do this for other App Stores. So you can paste it in, and that's the .zip that I copied from Big Bear Cost OS when I was on the GitHub. So now you can go over here to add and click it, and you can see that we have 298 apps now. So Big Bear Cost OS has been added. So if you go over to categories right here, you can see that it's not here. So we'll refresh the page, go back into the app store, Go to Categories, you can see Big Bear Cost OS right here, and you can click it, and now you can see Big Bear Cost OS is back. So now when you're uh, installing a app, you can go to the App Store, and when you have Big Bear Cost OS installed, um, I'm going to just 
go, I go to one that I know that there's a, uh, a, before, a before install. So if you go click it and then you press install, um, this right here uh, lets you know the tips of what to do. Always read the Big Bear community right here. Go, go to the URL, read it because it has instructions for completing the install. Um, and also, if I made a video, it will be up at the top. So once you do that, there might be some like Big Bear scripts you have to run. So those are for running it. And then it should like move a config over because sometimes you do need to do that to complete the installs. So that's a little bit of tip on what to do when you see the before install. So now with the support of Big Bear Cause OS, I try to support it as much as possible. Um, so you can go down to the Big Bear community and you can click on the link right here and you can go there and put a, a, a post together on um, what's happening, like uh, install Dozzle and then you will get to see the errors that are happening on the Docker container. That greatly helps you figure out the issues and also um, a, a look for uh, a make sure you post any screenshots to do with your app settings because that helps as well. Oh, when you edit the app settings and you change things like the web UI and you don't change the host port uh, to match that, then that's some of the errors that I've seen. Um, the, uh, whenever you go away from the default version of BigBearCost OS, that's normally the errors that I see as well. Now, if you change the tag to, uh, like the latest in the app settings, do not do that because you won't know actually what's happening, what's changing. It's better off to use, to, uh, uh, to use like version tags like 1.0.0 as uh, an example, but also wait for Big Bear Cost OS to update um, because I built Big Bear Cost OS to auto update as much as possible. Now it pings me when there's any major update and then, then I'll look through it when I have time. Um, like I said, Beaver Cost OS is a default app store now. So it's one of the uh, two. So Icewell is managing their own app store and Big Bear Cost OS is being managed by Beaver Tech World, which is me. Um, so uh, if you like uh, Beaver Cost OS, please support me. Greatly appreciate it. And it helps me spend a little bit more time on it. Um, so I think that's about support. So that's it. You've now got Big Bear Cost OS set up, installed, and supercharging your home lab or server. Um, so if this helped you, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech guides, and let me know in the comments what apps you're installing from Big Bear Cost OS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.